Unless you are watching this video and you're currently in hibernation, then you're probably gonna need to eat food pretty consistently. And the American Express Gold Card is possibly the very best credit card for people who love food due to those dining credits and then the high multipliers on dining and grocery stores. And I would even go as far as make the argument that the American Express Gold Card is going to provide a lot of value for a really high percentage of credit card users due to the fact that a lot of people do frequently spend money on dining and at grocery stores. However, there are some situations to where the American Express Gold Card might not actually be a very good card to get. And so in this video, I'm going to provide you all with a full in-depth review of the American Express Gold Card in which I will discuss everything that you need to know about this credit card. And then I'll discuss a couple different scenarios that will help you decide whether the American Express Gold Card is going to be a good credit card to get based on your own situation. Make sure you stay until the end of this video because while the American Express Gold Card is a fantastic card to get, there are some downsides to this card that I will discuss and are crucial to helping you understand whether or not you should get the American Express Gold Card. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Thanks for checking out this video and welcome back to the channel. Before I dive deep into the American Express Gold Card, I first wanted to discuss a couple factors that you must consider before you apply for this credit card. First of all, the American Express Gold Card might just be the perfect credit card in terms of having a mix between having some really key beneficial credits that can help offset that annual fee, but then also having some really high daily spend multipliers and some common spend categories such as dining and grocery stores. However, one thing to consider here is that the American Express Gold Card is not at all a beginner credit card, and so you are gonna have to have a decent credit history and a credit score of at least 680 at the very minimum to be approved for this credit card. Additionally, unlike some other mid-tier credit cards such as the Chase Sapphire Preferred, there isn't really a solid downgrade option with the Amex Gold Card. You can downgrade the Amex Gold Card to a card like the Amex Green Card, but even then, you're just cutting your annual fee down from $250 to $150, which isn't really significantly cutting down your cost, so that's the reason for the downgrade. And with the Chase ecosystem, you could get a card like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, and then completely cut out your annual fee by downgrading to a card like the Chase Freedom Flex or Chase Freedom Unlimited, if that was the reason for your downgrade in the first place. So it's not necessarily a huge deal that there isn't a definitive downgrade option with the Amex Gold Card, but this just means that you're gonna to need to be very confident about your ability to get value out of this credit card before you open it. With that being said, I painted the picture for the high stakes of seeing if you can get value out of this credit card. So let's get right into the details of the American Express Gold Card. To start with, the American Express Gold Card has an annual fee of $250, and the welcome bonus on this card is receiving 60,000 American Express points when you spend $4,000 or more in the first six months of having the card. That welcome bonus should be worth at a very minimum $600 when you book for travel through the American Express travel portal and thereby get one cent per point in redemption value. But to get the most amount of value from your American Express points, you should transfer your American Express points out to their travel partners, which includes airlines such as Delta, British Airways, Emirates, Virgin Atlantic, and then hotels such as Hilton and Marriott. And when you do this, you have the potential for a lot of redemption value upside with your American Express points, with the ability to get over two cents per point in redemption value, or over $1,200 in value from that welcome bonus. Next, if we discuss some of the key credits on the American Express Gold Card that can help to offset that $250 annual fee, there are two $120 credits that if used can really decrease your effective fee. What I mean by effective fee is that you wanna be prioritizing credits that you would've spent money on anyway, as your effective fee is basically the annual fee on the credit card, subtracted by the credits that you definitively got value out of without actually having to change your spending habits. So for instance, one of the credits that you get with the American Express Gold Card is a $120 Uber credit which is divided up into $10 increments every single month. If you weren't already going to use Uber or Uber Eats, then this does not lower your effective fee because this credit is just making you spend more money than you otherwise would have. However, if let's say that you normally would have spent about $80 on Uber or Uber Eats for the year, then this can lower your effective fee down from $250 to $170 due to that $80 reduction being the money that you would have spent anyway. So this Uber credit is especially going to be beneficial for those who live in an area to where they already use Uber or Uber Eats at least once every month. And one thing that you could do to lower your costs on Uber Eats, 
so that you aren't significantly going over that $10 monthly increment, is that you can change your delivery preference to pickup instead of delivery to where you can save money on delivery fees and simply go pick up your food in person. Finally, one thing that you need to be aware of in order to implement the Uber credit is that you need to make sure that your American Express Gold card is connected to your Uber account. The second $120 credit that you get with the American Express Gold card is that you get a $120 dining credit that like the Uber credit is divided up into $10 monthly increments. The $120 dining credit is only applicable for specific places with the list including Grubhub, Seamless, Cheesecake Factory, Roos Chris Steakhouse, and the Shake Shack. So obviously, whether you can get value out of the dining credit at places like Cheesecake Factory or Shake Shack is going to depend on whether you have these places near you or whether you even like these restaurants to begin with. However, lucky for everyone who has the Amex Gold Card, Grubhub is also included as a place that you can use the dining credit for, which adds a lot of flexibility to this dining credit and that you can use this credit for a lot of different dining accommodations. And overall, $10 a month is not a lot of money, but if you are strategic about how you use this dining credit, then you can use this for one time that you were already planning on eating out anyway, or even for takeout from Grubhub. And since you do get that $10 monthly credit every single month, $10 in monthly dining savings every single month compounded over a year can really add up to a lot of savings. Additionally, one thing that you must consider with both the Uber credit and the dining credit is that a lot of times you're gonna go over that $10 monthly increment that is given to you every single month. And this makes it even more important to be strategic about how you redeem your dining credit and make sure that you're mainly using these credits, both the dining and the Uber, for things that you already would have spent money on anyway, and that you're not just overspending in certain areas just to use the credits. So if your goal is to not go too far over that $10 monthly increment that is given to you, then my first recommendation would be to use that Uber credit for Uber Eats, in that dining credit for Grubhub, and then select the pickup at store option instead of the delivery option. However, you could also effectively use that $10 monthly dining credit to get takeout from Shake Shack or dessert from the Cheesecake Factory and still stay around that $10 monthly increment. Now, the $120 dining credit and the $120 Uber credit are the main credits that are gonna be used for the American Express Gold Card. However, there is one more credit that can be utilized by some people. That credit is a $100 hotel credit when you book a stay of two nights or more through the American Express Hotel Collection. This credit is going to be a lot less useful because as you can see, the vast majority of people are probably not gonna use these hotels because the hotels within the American Express Hotel Collection are really high end. So you're going to have to spend a lot of additional money to get that $100 hotel credit. They can be used for dining, spa, or resort activities. And absolutely make sure that you do not go out of your way to use this credit and really only factor in this credit if you were already planning a stay at a hotel within the American Express Hotel Collection, which I'm guessing is probably just a really small percentage of people. Next up, arguably the best feature and biggest reason that people get the American Express Gold Card is due to the really fantastic point multipliers. With the American Express Gold Card, you will get Forex back on restaurants worldwide, Forex back on US supermarkets, up to $25,000 in spending, 3x back on flights, and then 1x back on everything else. So unlike some other premium credit cards that really focus on travel-related benefits, the American Express Gold Card is a really good card for everyday spending due to those Forex categories on dining and grocery store spending. And this credit card can fit into a lot of people's credit card setups due to the optimal setup of pairing this credit card, which is really good for everyday spending, with some other credit cards that might be more focused on travel-related benefits. So now I'm going to discuss a couple different situations so that you can understand whether the American Express Gold Card is going to be a good credit card to get based on your own situation. First of all, I think the vast majority of people are going to be able to get a lot of value from the American Express Gold Card because a lot of people are going to be able to get some value from those credits. And then pretty much everyone has to spend money at grocery stores so you can really leverage that Forex category and then a lot of people do spend money eating out as well. So then there's that Forex dining category. And with all of that together, this is just a really good card for a lot of people. However, I've talked a lot about the positives of the American Express Gold Card throughout this video. So now I wanted to get into some of the negatives of the American Express Gold Card and discuss some situations to where this card might not be the best card for you. So the first scenario to where the American Express Gold Card might not be a good credit card for your own situation is if you don't value those credits like they normally would be and maybe you value them much lower than normal, maybe you don't get much value out of the dining credit, and maybe you don't have Grubhub or like Uber Eats or Uber in your area, 
and so you just can't get that much value from the credits. And then another scenario to where the American Express Gold Card might just not be a good credit card for your own situation is if you don't eat out very often because then you won't be able to take advantage of the dining credit as much and you won't be able to get much value out of the Forex back on dining that you'll get with this credit card. And finally, this is pretty much applicable to any credit card, but if you are already in a lot of debt or you don't handle credit cards very responsibly, then it might not be a great idea to open another credit card. In conclusion, the American Express Gold Card is one of the very best credit cards that you could get and it can be super powerful when you use it really strategically. Additionally, if you consider yourself a foodie or maybe you just like eating food a lot, then this is one of the best credit cards, if not the very best credit card that you can get. And that's because you get a ton of benefits that incentivize you to eat, such as really high multipliers on grocery stores and dining, and then those Uber and dining credits, and that's all for a reasonable price compared to some other premium credit cards. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up my in-depth look at the American Express Gold Card. If you enjoy credit card videos just like this one, I do make a lot of credit card videos on my channel, so make sure to check out my channel and maybe subscribe if you like the type of content that you saw in this video. But yeah, that's going to wrap everything up. If you got any value or insight from the video, please leave a like on the video as it helps me out a ton and I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.